Captain Ross Robertson with Big Water Fishing. You know, line counter reels are something many of us own, and they're really an integral part of you know salmon fishing and walleye fishing for trolling because we can duplicate where we're at. But one really overlooked aspect of line counter reels and where I've used them is actually in saltwater or like vertical jigging for lake trout, where you're you're fishing and suspended just like we are with the with the boards or something like that for walleyes, but where I can actually drop that jigging spoon or live bait directly below and get to exactly the same depth time after time. This is really big deal when you're fishing like snapper and, and smaller saltwater species like that. But there's just a handful of parts and pieces that you need to know on a line counter reel. One is we just have a clutch. Now depending on the brand it may be a little bit different but this is going to let line in and out as we adjust that. We've got a spool break just like we do on a regular line counter. That's going to affect how fast that spool can go. We've got our star drag and then we've got our big handle obviously and I really prefer a reel that has a larger single knob we just have a lot more torque rather we're doing the vertical fishing for lake trout or we're salmon or walleye fishing but some models are available with a double paddle like we traditionally see in a bait caster reel then the next thing we're going to have over here is just the simply the line counter itself and while again they all vary slightly basically we just push this in to zero it and then the line goes out and it's going to show you the numbers on there then the last thing we've got on there is just simply the clicker. That's going to allow to have some tension on there so that you can let things out without the spool blowing up on you. It's a nice little audible alarm also, so if you're not paying attention for catching the fish. So there's a lot of little parts on a line counter, but they're very simple, and basically what it's going to allow us to do is duplicate that line out. That's the key part. So one overlooked aspect of the line counter reels is we actually have to calibrate them. So it's really simple to do though. You have to think about it like this. If we had a very small diameter braid or a very heavy monofilament, it's actually gonna change the revolutions in that just like a garden hose reel would. So when we look at this line counter, it's actually based on revolutions, not on true feet out because that's gonna change with different types of line. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna walk this out. We're gonna zero it at the rod tip and we're gonna walk it out using like a survey tape or some type of measuring device to 100 feet. It's good and simple to understand. So let's say our line counter says 95 feet on the counter when, as walking it out, and we actually know that it's 100 feet. So if it's off 50 feet, a good place to start, start which will depend on your actually reel and the line that you use, but 50 feet usually is going to change this counter one foot. So if we were off five feet, we would change about 250 feet of line. Now, if you're under the 100 number, we're actually going to take line off. So if we were at 95, we're going to take 250 feet off and just take it off and clip on like a snap weight or something so you don't actually have to cut or add to the line yet. But if we were over, so let's say it said we were at 105 feet when we know we're at actually 100, we're going to actually have to add 250 feet. And that's a really good base to kind of get you figured out where you're going to be. And once you have these set, you're just going to actually put the exact same amount of line on when you're changing or what have you in, in the future. So we're going to actually not have this reel fully full, as you can see, because I'm using 10 pound monofilament here. And so this reel is probably designed for like 20 or something much larger. So you can see how much less line is off the lip of the spool. But that makes this exactly 100 feet at 100 feet. So calibrate your reels before you use them so the counter is accurate from one rod to another.